Welcome to the Travel 42 basic webinar. Today I am going to be going through our new Travel 42 platform. We do still have the legacy platform in existence. It will not be around forever, so I do highly recommend you utilize this new Travel 42 platform. Um, you can get to the legacy site once you get logged in, but please note that the Travel42 new platform is simply new.travel-42.com. I have it saved right up here, book, excuse me, bookmarked to my browser. So if I needed to get to it, I just simply click at the top. You can also go back to the legacy site by typing in www.travel-42.com. But as I said, this site, this legacy site, the one that is red, will be going away in the future. Um, so I do highly recommend you utilize this one. You can also sign up for a free trial by clicking register now if you've never tried it before. Um, but if you have a subscription, your user ID and password works for both. So it works for both the legacy site and the new site. If you do not have a subscription and you want to try it out, simply click register now. It'll pop up a new tab, type in all your information, and then use code T42. 14 FT for 14 days free. Um, that will allow you to access all of the destination content, hotel content, and cruise content, which Travel 42 is well known for. Um, Travel 42, I believe, was created around 2011. Um, so if you uh, use the Weissman reports back in the day, those are those big red binders. That plus Star Service Online merged together in 2011 to create Travel 42, which has unbiased destination, hotel cruise content, time-saving tools, critical alerts. You can turn any of the content we have into an elegant itinerary. It's branded with your information. So whatever you share with your clients, it looks like it comes from you with your contact information, your headshot, and your logo. And I'll show you how to up, update all of that today. So first, I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. So my user ID and password already pre-fill. So I'm going to click sign in. If you can't remember your password um, or whatever it may be, you can click here to do forgot password. That'll allow you to update it. Um, by using your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and click sign in, and this will take me to the dashboard once it gets loaded. Perfect. And you'll know you're logged in because it then says, welcome, your name, profile, manage account, and sign up. That's when you know you've been signed in. Um, so this is the dashboard. This is where you get as soon as you get logged in, familiarize yourself with this screen, and you can know that you're on the dashboard because there's a little yellow bar up here at the top uh, on top of where it says dashboard. So if you ever need to get back to the dashboard, just simply click dashboard, or you can utilize your back buttons on the browser. I'll also show you um, some other important ways to get back to the dashboard once we start creating content and creating our trip plans. So first off, you'll notice this banner. This banner features some of our sister products and then our recently updated destination and hotel or our featured destination and hotel just has been recently updated. So access travel app, we have Sherpa restrictions and e-visa information, Mobio, which is our most recent um, partnership. This offers um, connectivity while you're traveling, traveling overseas or may not have internet access. Um, so that's something to definitely look into. But that banner changes and you can scroll through it as needed. Um, but the most important thing is this search bar. This search bar is where you begin. So if you get logged in and you're not sure where to start, I don't know if I want to create a trip. I kind of just want to look around. I want to do some research this is a great place to start. So you can say, let me look up Rome and we can find more information on Rome. So a couple of different ways to pull up Rome. You can pull it up by clicking on one of the destination guides in the dropdown. If you're looking for a hotel, you can click it in the dropdown, see and do, or press enter or the magnifying glass to see all results. So if I go ahead and click the magnifying glass, this pulls up everything that has to do with Rome or has the word Rome in it. 
So I have two destination guides. You'll see those here. I have 224 see and do. So that's restaurants, dining, sightseeing, recreation. I have 1,399 hotels, zero cruise ships, zero cruises. Um, so those numbers will change depending on what you're searching for. So I searched for Rome. These are the results that we have having to do with Rome. So if you wanted to say, pick a hotel to send to your client, your client wanted something in Rome um, that maybe had a pool, um, and maybe that's all that they gave you, just that it has a pool. So we can then click on the hotels tab, which I've already searched Rome. Now I can have the hotels tab and I can filter things. So I can utilize hotel preferences. My client said they wanted a pool in Rome. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on pool in Rome. So these are the hotels that populate. I can filter these hotels by this grid view. I can look at a map view or I could look at a list view. So whichever preference you like, that's how you can click to search these three buttons up in the upper right corner. I like to keep it on the grid view, the grid view. that's just my preference. Um, but you can do a couple of things with the hotels once you find the one, or if you wanna look more into them before you choose the one. So I hovered over one of the hotels. I have add item, I have view details, send, print, or compare. Add item would be if I wanted to add this hotel to a trip plan. Say I'm trying to create something and I want to add this hotel plus some other things into a trip plan for my clients. So if you click add item, it'll pop up with what trip plan you want to add it to. So you can either choose one that you've recently edited or created or create a new trip plan. And it doesn't take long to do that. I'm gonna exit out of that though, because for this focus, I want to show how to quickly send or print this hotel. So you'll notice view details is the next option. I'm gonna click on that here in just a minute. Send or print. If I wanted to send or print this hotel in its entirety to my clients, these are the buttons that I'm gonna utilize. I'm not working in a trip plan. I'm not customizing anything. I just wanna send or print this hotel as it is currently. So send pulls up the send modal. You can type in your recipient's name or email address. Um, you can send yourself a copy by checking this box. Customize the subject, whatever you wanted the subject to say and anything you wanna put in the body of the email, then you would click send. If you click print, it pulls up a PDF of that, of that hotel. So we'll give it just a moment and it'll pop up a PDF down here at the bottom for me. So this is the PDF. I mean, look how pretty that looks. You don't even have to do anything and it's already created for you. So as this is right now, I could click on, click on this little printer icon or I can download this trip or this hotel to my computer and send it in an email or just save it for later for somebody else that I know is gonna need this later. So this is what the PDF version of just the hotel looks like. Now, remember, I didn't do any trip plan. This is just everything that we have on this hotel. So let's go back. Now, you'll notice when I click to open the PDF, it opened up a new tab for me. So I can exit out of this tab and then I'm back to my Travel 42. So always try to look at that. Did it open a new tab? If so, you're going to want to exit out of that tab once you're done using it. Now I'm back at my Travel 42 where I just clicked print on this hotel. Now compare will allow me to compare three properties. So if I wanted to compare this hotel with this hotel and this hotel, I can do that. So I clicked compare. Now I'll go down and click compare here and click compare here. So I've gotten my three hotels to compare. I'm gonna click compare. And now I can see a little bit more of the hotel information and choose which one I prefer. So I'm gonna go back to the results on this one. And let's view the details of this, just because I wanna see what's all included um, within this hotel profile. So I'm gonna click view details. You'll also see something else populated, send and print up here in the upper left corner. So I can also, quickly send or print this hotel by utilizing these buttons. 
Now, there is a little tool tip here because this sometimes gets a little confusing. Use these send or print buttons to print or send the full destination guide, hotel, or cruise. Do not use these buttons when working on a custom report. You'll need to go back to the dashboard to send your report that you created. These two buttons right here are only used to quickly send everything we have in that hotel profile. So if I click send or print under this hotel, it's going to send or print the overview, the photo gallery, not the booking info. This is never included in your traveler's report. The star review, the property information, and the map. So all of that is what is going to send or print if I use these buttons at the top. Now, if you want to not include something, if say you didn't want this basic info included, you're like, gosh, I want to send this, but I don't want that there. I just want them to see the review and the photo gallery. You can pick and choose those items. You just need to create a trip plan. And it's really not hard to do that at all. I'm going to show you right now how to do it quickly. So let's go back to the dashboard. This is another point that I made earlier. There are now two ways to get back to the dashboard. I can click dashboard up here in the upper left corner, or I can click this X up in the upper right corner. Either way, we'll take you back to the dashboard. So let's go click the upper left corner. Now here I am back at the dashboard. Now, so far what we've done, I've shown you how to quickly send or print a hotel. The same applies to destinations. If I were to click send or print, Beside the destination, it does exactly the same thing. So you'll see the send and print buttons for everything within Travel 42. When you create a trip plan, that means that you're wanting to customize this trip plan. You're either, well, two options. You're either wanting to customize, which means you want to remove something. You don't want to send everything. Or you're wanting to add multiple destinations or multiple hotels. Creating a trip plan is going to be the only way to do it. So let's go ahead and click create new. Oh, before I do that, though, I want to show you something else. Travelers at the very bottom. So underneath trip plans is the travelers. If you're going to send something to somebody via email, they need to be saved as a traveler. You will not be able to send via email unless they have a profile saved. You can create a new traveler by clicking this button at the very bottom. You need the first name, last name, and email address. You do have additional information and preferences that you can add as well, but the only thing required is a first name, last name, and email address, then save the client. You only have to save your client once. So once you save them one time, you don't have to do it again. You simply send what, send whatever you need to that client. You can also find them by searching for their name or going through the alphabet. Oh my goodness, I can't type today. And clicking on the letter that pertains to them. And then there's an all over here at the, the right side. So be sure if you're gonna be sending something to somebody, go ahead and create a new traveler profile for them. Um, and even for yourself, I know some travel agents like to send the information to themselves um, before they forward it to their clients or before they even send it to their clients. Create a profile for yourself. I have one for me and I send myself stuff all the time. So definitely create yourself a profile with your first name, your email, um, and your last name. Sorry, forgot about that part. Um, let me go ahead before we do the trip plan and just answer some of these questions. So when you're logged into one site, you can only be logged into one. So if you're going to be logged into the legacy site, go ahead and log into the legacy. If you're going to log into the new site, log into the new, but sign out before you leave for the day because you can only be logged in once. Um, in regards to when the legacy site is going to be going away, I do not have a date for that yet. Um, but it is it is coming, unfortunately. We, there can't be two websites. So eventually it is going to be going away sooner, probably rather than later. But we will let you guys know before it does. And the data that is currently in the legacy site is already in the new site. So anything you want to look up in the legacy site, you'll also be able to find 
in the new site right now. Um, give me one more moment. And if you're sending it, when I when when you send the hotel as a quick send or a quick print, it has everything except for that booking info that I showed you. Um, and I somebody asked about signing in. I mean, I can work with you after this and we can get you signed in. That's no problem. Just email me after this is over and we will get you logged in. So let's go ahead and create a new trip, a customized trip plan. So I'm gonna click here, create new trip. Trip plan name is the only thing that you need to create a trip plan. So whatever you wanna call it, some people have a, a system that they do um, to title these trip plans, just to keep them situated from other trip plans. Um, so whatever you wanna title it, um, and you can always change it if you need to. So for this one, let's go ahead and do Fort Lauderdale Spring Break. So perfect. I have everything I need to create my trip plan. All this other stuff is just extra. So I will go through it, but I just want to show you how quickly it is to create a trip plan. So next step layout, create new trip. I have a lot of agents that reach out and they just need it done quickly. So this is just a quick way to do it. So I've created my trip plan. This is my folder. Now I have to add information to this trip plan, to this folder. So I'm gonna search for Fort Lauderdale. Perfect, it's the first thing that popped up, only thing that popped up for destination guides because I was very specific with what I needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Fort Lauderdale, Florida and my destination guide populated. So the destination guide layout is very similar to the hotel layout. You have all the tabs that are applicable over to the left and you can view all the information to the middle. So a couple of options, you can go through and pick and choose the items that you wanna add. You can choose them over here or you can apply a destination template. So if you click apply destination template, you can pick and choose the options that you want to add without even having to go through the, um, the destination guide itself. So for me and my preferences in my edit profile, I have a full guide for the template. So anytime I click a template, full guide populates. You'll notice everything is checked. If I wanted all the options to be checked, I would simply click save. You can also go through and uncheck items just be sure to hit save when you do that. But that's an easy way to add information to a trip plan. For this uh, example, I'm gonna go through and pick and choose the items by checking the check boxes to the left and also the check boxes to the right. You'll see that they work together. So let's go through, I want the photo gallery. You'll notice I just checked the photo gallery and the photo gallery over here was checked as well. Introduction, highlights, no geography, no history, no port information, definitely potpourri. That's one of my favorite parts um, of Travel 42. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Um, so this just has little bits and pieces of facts for the destination guide itself. You'll find this in a lot of destination guides, but I always like to add that one. And then hotel overview. Then we can go to the see and do tab. We have sightseeing, recreation, nightlife, performing arts, spectator sports, shopping, and itinerary. Now, not all destination guides are the same. Some you'll notice a lot more information and some will have a little bit less information. But especially if you're going to be printing something, make sure you pick and choose what you want to print because you don't want it to end up being like a 300 page um, print when you really only needed a couple of things. So definitely pick and choose if you're going to be printing. So sightseeing, I want to add those. You'll notice that included the amusement parks, the casinos, historic sites, and you'll see these gold ticket items. These are highly rated by us, so definitely check those out. If you want to remove anything, you just simply have to check the box or uncheck the box. So a check means that it's been added and saved in your trip plan. A, a, excuse me, no check or a blank box means that it's not added to your trip plan. So if you needed to remove something, simply just uncheck the check in the box. If you decided, hey, I do want to put that back in, just put a check back. So as long as it has a check, that means it's been added and saved. 
Um, so there's a couple more of those gold ticket items, parks and gardens. And remember, that's all in the sightseeing. So the sightseeing was historic sites, museums, parks and gardens, and then recreation is our next section. So let's go through, we're gonna add the Fort Lauderdale Beach Promenade. We'll add this one as well. Oh, fishing, flamingo fishing. We'll do that one. Um, and we do have most, for the points of interest, we do have most of the time the address. We try to have the times that they're open as well as the website. So if you needed to do some more information digging, you can utilize that. Spas and health clubs, I wanna do all of those. Then we have bars, taverns and pubs, comedy clubs, live music, performing arts, literally anything you can think of when it comes to points of interest. Um, we have them, <laughs> specialty stores and then itineraries. This one's really cool. If your clients are asking specifically what can they do while they're on this trip, um, the, this is some good information to share with them. Um, there are two itineraries for this one. So they're provided to help you get the most out of your time in Fort Lauderdale. So plan A, plan B, then we have day trips. If maybe they're only going to be spending a day there, you can add some of the local tours. Um, that might be helpful too. So next is our dining tab. So we can go to the dining tab by going to the bottom right, or we can go back up to the top and click on it in that left tab. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just click it so I don't have to scroll back up to get to the dining. So we have the dining overview, and then I always add all the local and regional items because those are very important to visit while you're in a new destination. Um, but I'm also going to add some other items as well, some of the other cuisines that we have. So the boat yard is a gold ticket item, and that one's a great one. I've been to that one. It is a lovely restaurant. Um, I went when we had Cruise World this past year, so it was very nice. We'll add Asian, then French, and fusion. Um, but we do have a lot of the cuisines, so definitely lots of options to choose from. And I go through it. I like to add all the gold ticket items because I know those are going to be good. Seafood. Definitely adding some seafood if you're near the coast. And then other options. So next is going to be safety. If say we were doing this and we're like, gosh, I wish I could go back to the see and do. You can just go over to the left and you can go back to the last tab and change something. So next we'll go to the safety. I'm going to add all of that tips, do's and don'ts for sure, geostats, money, definitely weather and what to wear. I'm sure it's going to be hot down there in Fort Lauderdale. Um, newspapers and magazines will do telephone and transportation, definitely air, car, and then public transportation. Events is the next and final tab, so I'm going to add that in there. Um, so that's it. That's the destination guide. The destination guide stops at the events tab. So the next tab is then going to be hotels. So if you want to add a hotel from Fort Lauderdale or whatever destination you're in, that is something separate that you have to go in and do. So I'm going to click on the hotels tab. It'll pull up all of my Fort Lauderdale hotels. Now I can filter the hotels. So if I wanted something specific, I would click filter and then go through and pick and choose the filters that I want. Um, or you can just simply pick and choose based on view details, add item. Now, if you click add item now, it's going to add everything in that hotel profile. So if you're wanting to pick and choose the items you add, maybe you don't want the basic info, click view details. Um, and you'll see also this hotel, you'll notice there's no star review tab. If you come across a hotel that doesn't have a star review, that just simply means we have not physically been to that property to review it. It's something that we're working on for the near future. So don't be alarmed if you come across one that does not. Now, if you only wanna see hotels that have star reviews, we there is a filter for that. So we can go back to Fort Lauderdale Hotels, filter hotels and show only hotels with a review. So now these are the hotels that have a star review. So if you're only wanting to send hotels that have a star review, be sure to use that filter option. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. I'm going to click view details. 
Okay, so this one definitely has a star review. So I'm not going to add the basic info on this. I'm going to start with the photo gallery. As I said, the booking info is never included. Definitely going to add in the review. Property. Now the property is broken up, so you can pick and choose as you need. We'll do the room amenities, hotel facilities, restaurants on site. I don't need meeting facilities. Definitely recreation. I'm not going to add the rates and policies, but I will add the location. Um, so that's what I'm gonna check for that one. Good, all right, so I've gotten everything I wanna add. You know what, let's go back and add Florida as a state. I've got Fort Lauderdale in here, but let's add in Florida. So let's go back to our trip plan. I named mine Fort Lauderdale Spring Break. So I'm gonna click on that breadcrumb up here in the upper left corner, and that'll take me back to my trip plan. Perfect. So I have one destination guide and one hotel so far and 75 C and do that's points of interest and dining. I'm going to add in Florida. So I'm going to use that search bar again. And Florida pops up. So this one I'm going to go through a little bit faster um, since we kind of went through everything in the Fort Lauderdale destination guide. But in trip plans, you can add multiple hotels, multiple destinations as many as you want. Just please be mindful if you're gonna print, not to print like a thousand pages. Um, but this one I'm gonna send so I can add as much as I want. So I'm gonna add the overview. I'm unchecking geography and history because I don't need that for this trip. Let's see and do. We wanna do sightseeing, recreation. Now, since this one is Florida as a state, it's not gonna have as many points of interest. It's when like we get into like the Fort Lauderdale's, the cities, are, which is when they're going to populate the most um, points of interest in dining. So most of this will just be overviews. Safety, I'm not going to add the safety since we did that with Fort Lauderdale. I'm going to go back in though and add the do's and don'ts for Florida as a whole. And we'll do weather and what to wear. All right, so now we can go back to our trip plan because I've got everything I need. And you can always utilize this search bar. So if you decide you want to add more things, um, all you have to do is type in the destination, the information that you're wanting to search for, whether it be a destination guide, hotel, see and do, cruises, and more. All right, so that's it. I've added everything I needed. The trip plan is done. I can send or print right now by clicking this little circle with the three dots inside. So you'll see you can edit details, view travelers, send, print, download, copy URL, duplicate, delete, save, and close. So if I wanted to send it as is, I click send, type in my client's name, and then send email. Email was sent. Good. Let's say I'm, I'm finished with that one. So we would then go and save and close. Now I'm back to my dashboard. The trip plan was sent. Let me see if I can pull it up. There we go. Give me one moment, I'm sorry. Having two screens is sometimes a little difficult. All right, here's my trip plan. I just sent it. So I'm opening it as the traveler. I just sent it to myself. So I have my cover page with my headshot, my logo, the trip plan name, my contact information. Then we go next, the trip summary, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Ritz Carlton, and then Florida, United States. So here's my Fort Lauderdale destination guide that I added. And you can see this one's pretty lengthy. So if you were to print all that, but say I get to the very bottom after I read it, then I can click on the next button. Now I have the hotel that I was looking at or that I added, excuse me, and then Florida. So that trip plan is done. Um, you can then, I just wanna see something real quick. Okay, so since I just sent it to myself and I just viewed it or the client, let's say just viewed it, you'll see when it was last modified, which was by me today, it was last delivered by me moments ago, and it was last viewed by the clients moments ago. So if this last viewed is blank, 
definitely reach back out to them and say, hey, did you get that trip plan I sent you? I can resend it quickly for you if you want. Um, that way you can make sure that they've seen it. So always check this last view to make sure it was actually viewed. So if we wanted to go, let's say back in this trip plan and edit some of those details, I don't know if you recall um, when we first started, I wanted it to get done quickly. I just wanted to quickly send a trip plan out for my clients. But now we can go in and kind of look at some of the optional items that I missed. So if I click edit details, of course I have my trip plan name, Fort Lauderdale Spring Break, especially prepared for. That is an option, that's totally optional. You don't have to put that there and you don't have to put the traveler there. If you do, it will be geared towards either that especially prepared for if you have it or the traveler if you have it. So once they receive the trip, it'll say, dear, whatever you have for especially prepared for. So if it was say, um, Larissa's bachelorette party, it would say something about, uh, hello, Larissa's bachelorette party. So it would be geared towards them. Um, if you put the traveler, same thing with that. It would be geared towards that traveler that you put in. But like I said, those are optional. The suggested retail price, that would be, if it was there, and I think normally it's like $29.95, but that is basically what this information would cost your clients if they had to do this themselves. So that normally travel agents will waive for their clients. And this is kind of like an extra um, uh cherry on top kind of thing with the trip plan. So they'll say, you know what, normally this is going to be about $29.95 if you were to look it up on your own or based on all the work that I've done. Um, but I'm going to waive that for you since you're such good clients of mine. Um, but if you don't want it to show up, that's fine too. Simply delete it and it will not show up. If you know your client's departure and return dates, any comments you want displayed to the clients, and you can also put in trip notes that are not displayed to the clients. So these are some things that we just saw. So you have a cover page on the trip plan. You have a trip summary. You have your business card, which was the headshot logo and contact information. Show images in online view and show images in PDF view. If any of those items you don't want, you can remove them by unchecking the box. So it's totally up to you what you want to include. My personal preference, I like to include it all. I think all of it looks extremely nice, especially when viewed by the traveler. The only thing I do recommend deleting, if you don't have a colored printer and you're planning on printing the trip plan, go ahead and take the images off a of PDF. They won't look as good in, the, in black and white. So it, it looks a lot better in the images if you do have a color printer, if you're going to be printing. So for me, I have a black and white printer. So if I'm going to print something, I don't want a bunch of images showing up that aren't beautiful and vibrant. So I remove this little checkbox if I'm going to be printing it. Um, that way, none of the images will show up when I print. Um, you can add your own cover photo if you don't like the one that is cho chosen by us. Um, you can upload an image or link an image. Whenever you're done doing any updates to the trip plan, be sure to save edits. Um, and something else I want to make note of is the organize and preview tab. Organize is just simply a way for you to change the order or schedule the items that are in your trip plan. So for this option, I have Fort Lauderdale, the Ritz-Carlton, and then Florida. So if I wanted Florida to be first, then Fort Lauderdale, then the Ritz-Carlton, I could drag and drop it to the top. If I wanted the hotel to be first, it's whatever preferences you want. Um, my only suggestion, if you're researching things with your clients, like you're helping them plan a trip, make sure the hotel or destination that you're recommending shows up first. They're probably going to fall in love with it when they see it in this trip plan that you've sent them. So be sure if you want them to book the Ritz Carlton in Fort Lauderdale, have that show up first so it's already fresh in their mind. Um, schedule. This is a way to create an itinerary out of your information. So you would literally drag and drop it to the day that they're going to be there. And you can create an itinerary with our drag and drop itinerary builder. Um, if you don't, you don't have to do either of these. You don't have to organize it at all if you don't want to. That's just something optional um, that you can take this trip plan just one step further. Now, preview, you do not have to do anything in the preview tab. There's absolutely nothing to do. The preview tab is simply just that, a way for you to preview the sent trip plan that your clients will be receiving. 
So this looks exactly like what I just had opened up. I have my cover page with the picture that was chosen by Travel42, my headshot, my logo, my contact information. Here's that trip summary. And then we go into the information. So the hotel, then Florida, then Fort Lauderdale. Be sure anytime you're done working in a trip plan that you click the little dot in the upper right corner and click save and close so that Travel42 knows that you are done working on this trip plan. Um, another piece of information, if say you just got logged back in, you're wanting to send something to somebody that you had forgotten about yesterday, you'll see that same three or same dot with the three little white dots inside. I call this my action items bubble. So it's all the action items that you have. So if you click that, you'll see the same action items that we just saw. You could send, print, download, copy URL, or duplicate, whatever you wanted to do with that trip plan. I just love creating trip plans though, because they're always saved. So if a client comes back in a couple of years and says, oh my gosh, I loved that trip. I want to go on it again. What did we do? And you're like, oh gosh, I really don't remember, but let me go back in Travel 42 and see if I can figure it out. You have that same trip plan there that you can resend them, or um, you can edit the information and make it based on today. So if it was like a year or two ago, you can change the dates and make it for today. Um, so that's about it with the creating trip plans travelers. Now let's talk a little bit about what is on the dashboard. So news and alerts. This is where you would go to see updated destinations, updated hotels, travel alerts, Travel Age West, Travel Weekly, and Travel Pulse, some of our sister products. Um, this is a very helpful page to have open, especially if you have clients traveling. You can see if there's any travel alerts going on in that destination to inform them about. Restrictions and e-visa are both powered by Sherpa. Restrictions allows you to see any needed items when traveling from one destination to another and then back. So what you have to have to get to the destination and then back home from the destination. You can type in from, search for the destination if their passport is US, their trip is international. E-visa will open up a new tab and basically allows you to purchase any e-visa information if your clients need a visa while they're traveling. Um, help tab, very, very, very important. And especially if you're just learning the site, if this is like your first time using it or you're still unsure about it, go ahead as soon as you log in, as soon as you get to the dashboard, click help. It pops up a new tab. So if you're navigating the site and like, oh gosh, I'm stuck, how do I send a trip plan? You can type in send trip. And there's some articles that pop up. How do I send or print a trip plan? How to send a customized trip plan and not all the destination or hotel. New trip creation. Where are my trip plans? How to create a trip plan. Oh, looks like there's a duplicate one, but it basically pops up with information that you might need. Um, getting started, that's definitely where I would start. Quick start guide, editing your profile. Um, quick send or print, which we discussed, and then creating a customized trip plan. Live webinars and on-demand training. So we have all of our upcoming webinars and then our recorded webinars. Frequently asked tips and tricks, and then support and troubleshooting. A lot of agents will come with questions in regards to say the website being slow or maybe something not working properly. Start here because there's a lot of troubleshooting information that we have. So we might be able to inform you, oh, why is it running slow? This could be the reason. So definitely start there or just reach out to us directly and have us look into it. We would be happy to help. Just click submit a request up here in the upper right corner. Um, but like I said, that opens up a new tab. So I always like to keep the help tab open. Um, so back to the dashboard. Now let's do profile information. This is how you brand the information that you send. You want it to look like it comes from you. You want it to look professional. So you can put in your headshot, your logo, your contact information, whatever contact information you want um, to show up to your clients. Preferences is important as well. You can remove anything or add things from the preferences tab. So you have client view, report items. This is where I have the full guide for my templates. You can also do business cruise or leisure, totally up to you. The email preferences and then search preferences. 
So one of my favorite tips that I've used, and I think um, somebody mentioned it in the chat, I have, when I pull up hotels, I have them in order based on the star rating. So basically when I search, say Rome and all the hotels populate, I see the five star first, then it goes down to four star, then three star, then two star, then one star. So that's how I have it filtered, just because I like to see the higher stars first and then narrow it down from there. But you can go based on the name, so ABC order, amenity rating, um, agent rating, rate, city, commission, and distance. So you can control what hotels populate. Um, so that's the preferences and business cards. So I'm going to leave this up for a moment while I go through some of the questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. So for the recording, thank you all for joining. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Here is my email address. Um, so let me go ahead and stop the